what he's about to do. The seven good cows are seven years, and the seven good ears are seven years. The dream is one, and the seven thin and ill-favored cows that came up after them are seven years. And the seven empty ears blasted with the east, when shall be seven years of famine. This is a thing which I have spoken to Pero. What God is about to do, he has shown to Pero. Behold, there come seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of Miserium, and there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Miserium, and the famine shall consume the land, and plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of that famine following, for it shall be very grievous. And as for the repetition of the dream to Pero twice, it is because the thing is fast determined by God, and God will surely bring it to pass. Now therefore let Pero look out a man discreet and wise, and set him over the land of Miserium. Let Pero do this, and let him appoint officers over the land, and take up the third part of the land of Miserium. In the seven years of plenty, and let them gather all the food of those good years that come, and lay up corn under the hand of Pero, and let them keep food in the cities, and the food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Miserium. The land perished not through the famine, and the thing was good in the eyes of Pero, and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pero said to his servants, Can we find such as one as this, a man, and whom the Spirit of God? And Pero said to Joseph, Since God has shown thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over thy house according to thy word, shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pero said to Joseph, See, I have set thee all over the land of Miseriam. And Pero took off his ring from his hand, and put it over Joseph's hand, and arrayed him in garments of fine linen, and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him to ride in the second chariot, which he had, and they cried before him, Avrahek, bow the knee, and made him ruler over all the land of Mizraim. And Pero said to Joseph, I am Pero, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Mizraim. And Pero called Joseph's name Zaphonat Hanayah. And he gave him to wife Esenet, and the daughter of Potiphera, priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Miseriam. And Joseph was thirty years old when he stood before Pharaoh, the king of Miseriam. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout the land of Miseriam. And in the seven years of plenty, the earth brought forth by heaps, and he gathered up all the food of the seven years which were in the land of Mizraim, and laid up the food in the cities, the food of the field, which was round about every city, laid he up within it. And also gathered corn like the sand of the sea, very much until he stopped numbering for it.